school. I feel like I'm really hogging quite a lot of school. <laughs> <laughs> I'll swim for myself. Uh, one. Swim away. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, so, they, so onto these records, they recorded like all of these like fragments of sound and like some of it was like bird song and some of it was like uh, the sound of like a mother talking to her newborn baby for the first time and then they also had things like, you know, Beethoven on there but then they also had like Chuck Berry doing Johnny Be Good and it was all the stuff that they uh, regarded to be the, uh, the like most impressive sounds that Earth had ever made. And, uh, and they made these records and they gold plated them and they put one on Ball Boys and one and one on Ball Boys 2 and they sent them out into the universe. And, uh, and so the people who were working on that project, the uh, guy working for NASA uh, was called Carl Sagan, I'm sure you all know Carl Sagan, uh, and he was like in charge of this project and the cultural curator of all of those pieces of sound and music was a woman called Anne Drian. And, uh, and when she was, they were very near the end of the process and they were just missing some Chinese music and she found uh, this perfect piece of music, a two and a half thousand year old recording of Chinese music and she sent it to Carl Sagan and she said, this is the perfect piece of music. And he called her back and they spoke on the phone for an hour, Carl Sagan and Andrean, and at the end of that hour long phone call, they were engaged. Right? They went together at the start of the phone call and at the end of the phone call, they were engaged. And I think this is the most amazing one of the story. And it even gets better than that. Because Carl Sagan and Andrean, when they were working on this thing, they were like, we're trying to document the human experience and you and me are falling in love. And that's the most amazing, incredible human experience there is, right? And so they decided to also try and document on that record the way that they felt about each other. So they recorded their brain waves and their heartbeats when they were thinking about how amazing it was that they found each other out of all the people in the world. And that sound of their heartbeats and their brain waves of them falling in love is still making its way through the universe today. And when I heard that, I thought, if I can't write a song about that, I'm a <laughs>
Your light's came on.